Hello, this is Core Tech Korea. The product we're going to talk about today is Brookfield's Rotary Viscometer DV2T model. It is the most used model in Korea. There are 200 wide range of choices for precision viscosity measurement. It also features 5 inch full color touch screen display for intuitive operation. In addition, it has the ability to set measurement time, collect measurement data value, and collect average data values. Data management using USB memory is possible. If you purchase optional Rio, Calc, T software, you can control it through a PC, and data can also be collected and analyzed. The DV2T viscometer has DV2T LV, DV2T RV, DV2T HA, DV2T HB models. Depending on the measurement range and the viscosity of the sample, you can choose the right model from following. The following table compares the specifications of each model. Referring to the table, you can choose a model that fits the viscosity of the sample that you want to measure. Components include the main body, stand, spindle, spindle guard truck, RTD temperature probe, power cable, and carrying case. DV to THA, DV to THB models do not have spindle guard racks. DV to TLV has for basic spindles, while the other model has six spindles. The guard racks in DV to TLV and DV to TRV are different shapes and incompatible with each other. Rotate the level screw at the bottom of the stand so that the bubble on the horizontal is centered. Connect the power cable and install the USB memory as required. Finally, the installation of the viscometer is complete when the RTD temperature probe is connected. At the front of the main body, there are touch screen display and bubble horizontal meter. At the rear of the main body, there are power cable connection port, RTD temperature probe connection port, USB type B connection port, three USB type of connection ports, and power switch. At the bottom of the main body, there is a coupling screw that combines the pivot cup and spindle. Four LV RV models combine the guard racks. The guard racks can be installed through a screw hole located on the back of the pivot cup. The guard rack protects the spindle from external shocks. It is also used to obtain accurate results in the low viscosity area. When the guard rack installation is complete, turn the protective cap clockwise to remove it. When the power switch is turned on, the message Remove Spindle and Level is displayed. Make sure that the spindle is removed and the instrument is level. Then press the Next button. Proceed to Auto Zero for a while. The message Auto Zero Complete is displayed. Touch Next button again to go to the main screen. Attach the spindle to the coupling screw located in the center of the pivot cup. The coupling screw must be slightly raised upwards to prevent damage to the pivot. With the coupling screw slightly raised, rotate the spindle clockwise to install it. If you turn it too hard, the pivot may be damaged. If it is difficult to select this spindle, the low viscosity is measured from the low number spindle. Conversely, the high viscosity is measured from the spindle of the high number. The number of the spindle is engraved on the coupling part of the coupling screw. The RTD temperature probe is fixed to the spindle guard rack using a clip. The main screen consists of USB memory connection check, current time, current date, RTD temperature probe connection check. Home menu, setting menu, torque value display, spindle setting, speed setting, temperature display, end condition setting, data collection setting, and command keys.
touch spindle button on the screen and enter the spindle number that is joined to the body. Then touch the OK button. You can also select the spindle directly by touching the button on the top right. Touch speed button on the screen and enter the desired rotation speed. Then touch the OK button. You can also select the rotation speed directly by touching the button on the top right. Touch end condition button to set the end condition. The exit conditions are time of points of revolutions, torque, viscosity, and temperature. In the case of time mode, the measurement is terminated with a rotation only for the set time. For the of points mode, the measurement ends when the collection is complete by setting the number of points that collect data. For the of revolutions mode, the measurement ends when the set number of rotations is reached. In torque mode, the measurement ends when the set torque value is reached. In viscosity mode, the measurement ends when the set viscosity value is reached. In temperature mode, the measurement ends when the set temperature is reached. Let me explain the time mode that is commonly used. If you set the end condition to time, the measurement is automatically terminated when the set time is reached. First, under parameter, select time. Then set the desired time and touch OK button. Touch data collection button on the screen to set up data collection. Data collection has the ability to collect measurements values, average values, and so on. Single point collects the last displayed data value at the end of the measurement. Single point averaging collects the average measured values during the last set time of measurement. Multipoint collects data values by setting up interval during measurement. Multipoint averaging collects the average measured value during the last set time of the interval set by the multipoint. For example, set interval to 5 seconds and setting the averaging value to 2 seconds. In this case, you will collect the average measured value in the last 2 seconds per interval. No data will not collect data. Let's select single point averaging for now. Earlier, you selected end condition for one minute. If you set the average duration to 30 seconds, it will show the average of measured viscosity values for 30 seconds just before the end. Touch the OK button when setup is complete. Touch clear button to reset the settings. Touch save button to save the settings. Touch run button to start viscosity measurement. Prepare approximately 500 milliliters of sample for measurement. If you find it difficult to obtain a sample of 500 milliliters, you can use the Brookfield accessory, such as small sample adapter or cone plate. Turn the height adjustment knob on the right side of the stand. Immerse in the sample of to the groove shown on each spindle. Then touch the run button on the bottom right of the screen. The screen shows data from the sample you are currently measuring. The displays show measured value, torque, shear stress, shear rate, temperature, speed, and trend bar, respectively. For the shear stress and shear rate, you can check the measured value using the DIN specification spindle. After the set time, the measurement ends, and you can see the measurement results. Touch the stop test button if you want to stop measuring during the measurement. Touch view test button to confirm the setup conditions. If the measured value is not displayed and EEE -E -E is displayed, the measurement range is over. In this case, change the RPM to measure it again, then measure it by replacing it with a different spindle. If the torque value is less than 10%, when the measured value is stabilized, the correct viscosity value cannot be obtained. Therefore, change the spindle or rotational speed and measure it again. Touch the stop test button to stop operation when the measurement is complete. If the measurement time is set, 
it stops working when the set time is reached without touching the stop test button. OK button is created when the measurement is finished. Touch OK button to display the print, save, and configure test buttons at the bottom. If you are using a dedicated printer, you can output the result by touching print button. Touch save button to store the measurement results. In internal memory or USB memory. Enter the name of the file you want to save. If you save data on USB, you must save the file type as CSV to see the data on your PC. Touch Configure Test button to return to the setup screen. Remove Temperature Probe, Spindle, Gardrick, and then clean it sufficiently. When removing the spindle, hold the coupling screw upwards. If you want to measure another sample, you can repeat the measurement using the above method. Be careful not to shock the spindle while the spindle is engaged. If the spindle is impacted, the pivot is more likely to be damaged. When combining or removing the spindle, the coupling screw must be held upwards to prevent damage to the pivot. If the pivot is damaged, contact the place you purchased it or Core Tech Korea 48S service. In the case of pivot damage, even if there is a free repair period, it will not be repaired for free. All right, that was a description of Brookfield's rotary viscometer. DB to T. For consultation and purchase inquiries, please contact Core Tech Korea. Thank you.